Hey, this is September the 24th. This is the LLTH discussion, of course. Because it says that over the title of the video, right? Uh, before I get into anything like what I've been doing or basically what's new and all that stuff, I just want to say a little thing about the last one and why it says 49 uh, point 0.33 like minutes and why it didn't turn out that you could hear everything and why it came out all echoey well uh, basically I put it into the garage band and tried to make it into a podcast that's the one thing it did it like an echo thing because when I went to make the podcast it wanted to uh, basically say that is, um, it's a music, right? So when I put it as that, it came out all echoey. That's why the first part I'm talking, it sounds all clear, and the next is all echoey. Uh, for this one, that should be all figured out. Uh, next, the photos didn't change over my discussions when I wanted to because this was done as a podcast file, right? So it saved up as basically... Uh, it basically it was like music a music file it came up as so it was a I don't remember the exact specifics but what I did basically because uh, YouTube doesn't YouTube doesn't select um, doesn't allow you to upload audio unless it has video to it so all I did was basically backspace deleted the last letter and changed it to an I so it would think it was a video file so I'm gonna try and do that again or I'm gonna try and take this and put it in something else to edit it because I really don't know how to use the uh, iMovie that well because I try to put uh, audio into it and it won't allow me to put other stuff over the audio like pictures so yeah so this is how we're starting. Uh, it's only going to be me again this time because there's no one really I can call up and be like, yo, come down here right now. So uh, basically I'm going to start off with what I've been doing. I've been playing DS games, mostly uh, some older games too, uh, Game Boy even, like Game Boy Color. Uh, I've been playing, was it, uh, American Dragon... Uh, Jake Long, uh, basically, it's a DS title, right? Where it's based off of the cartoon slash animated series. Well, animated series, basically. Because it's like anime in types of drawings, but then it's more cartoony. So, uh, which is a great show, The American Dragon. Uh, you should watch it. It's already over, probably canceled. I don't remember the last episode. But I've been playing that. It's slightly broken. Like you play through it and you go up against these guys and the attacks. You attack and then the guy's so fast to move that it hits you before it registers that you hit him. So you have to basically get the guy while he's turned around. Uh, boss fights are alright. It looks um, 2D slash 3D. So it's like a 2.5 I always call where it's basically 2D but it's 3D and in some levels it's like 3D you can run around in a pure circle but you can only move in that circle and it would be uh, 2D so it's a good game it's from 2006 I picked it up at Game Center for like phew, very cheap like $4.99 right, so I've been playing it it's alright it has its mistakes it has some good things like it uses um, voice control uh, if you watch the show, he's a he's a kid, right? But basically, he turns into a dragon by saying "dragon up," right? So when you say like you can actually like say "dragon up," and the well, 3DS I'm playing on, but the DS will hear you, and he'll transform. Uh, there's some flaws to that. Sometimes if there's a loud sort of like like booming sound, it might do it automatically and think you said it but you didn't which I haven't had too much problems with that except in the car 
when I think there was a honking sound and it did that. But you have to speak very clearly and loud. So when you say dragon up, you have you can't just say it like how I just said. You have to like say it like how he would say it in the cartoon, where it's like dragon up, and you have to be like loud. <laughs> yeah, so that's a nice um, thing to it. Uh, yeah, so it's a very good game. Uh, but I wouldn't say it would be worth if it came out and it was like forty nine or thirty nine. I'd say. I'd probably buy it at like nine ninety nine or even fourteen ninety nine, even though I got it for a lot cheaper. But it's all right. Uh, another game I've been playing is Shinobi, not the original Shinobi, the sort of remake one for the three DS, which at first I thought was a very bad game because I was playing it, and guys would throw kunai's right. And they have the ability to block, but then there's a cooldown to your blocking. So basically, you block, and he has to cool down for long, like long enough to leave you with a big opening. So when people throw kunai's, they throw more than one at one time, right? So you gotta deal with these friggin' kunai's coming at you, and it's like you can't block it right away. But you can block in the air. You can't block in the air if you block and move at the same time. So you can't block and move at the same time like in uh say a two D verse game like Marvel vs. Capcom or something. Yeah, but um Shinobi's a good game. It's wasn't too good if you don't get past the first part. Cause then it feels like uh this game looks so crap because the graphics aren't too good. Especially it looks like it's trying to be somewhat like presentable but it's not presentable and the scene where you have to ride a horse was hideous like the horse you crash into something and basically once you hit that object you're stuttered back and you'll see the screen still moving but it takes you at least like two and a half minutes to peer back up on the screen which I find very annoying uh, but yeah, it's a good game. It's not worth basically nineteen dollars at all. It is not. I got it for nine ninety nine. It is a good game for nine ninety nine. It has a lot of faults to it, but it's it's a fun game. Uh, going through the street pass things, you can street pass with it, but the only problem is it doesn't give you street passes right away. You have to um. Basically, you have to pay with your play coins for the street passes, and the price is kind of steep. It's like not like uh, Resident Evil, where it's ten play coins and you can easily get ten in a day, right? It's uh, twenty. So basically, you have to do two whole days of walking, or if you're a cheater like <laughs> other people I know with the 3DS, uh, you can shake the 3DS, look like you're baiting or whatever. Right, but I, I don't do that. I actually walk because then I can get a street pass. Um, yeah, so it's 20 coins to unlock it, and it's very challenging in those things. It's fun. You If you get the rhythm of how these guys are going to show up, and if you take your time, you can get through it very easily. But I go, I run in, just throw a whole bunch of kunais, try to get past these guys, and then I mess up at the littlest thing and piss me off, and I redo it. I probably redo it like 20 or more times probably more like 30 <laughs> so um shinobi out of the way i also been playing a game uh game boy color game it's a very fun game i used to play it before uh hamtaro right <laughs> i know you're probably like what the fuck hamtaro click turn this shit off <laughs> like fuck hamtaro who likes hamtaro <laughs> i know but it's actually a great game. It's, I wouldn't say it's for those people who only like hardcore games. Because if you're more of a, like, my definition of gamer, we play everything. <laughs> like, the only things that I really don't play are, like, those games made for babies where you click one thing and it goes, hooray, you completed this, blah, 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 and, they actually have those. Don't don't even say that they don't, because 
They have this Winnie the Pooh game, which is for rated for children, like, like I mean, like babies, like infant, uh, age babies, you know, which is so messed. It was for GameCube. They also have some Wii ones, where for download, it has some like colorful things. I can deal with that, but it was never made for me, you know. Hantaro is a great game. It has exploration. It has uh, little parts like almost Zelda-ish, where you find uh, you find a treasure chest, but you have to use a uh, uh, Taku. Yeah, I think it's called Taku. Basically, every single phrase in the game is in the ham chat, and the ham chat is a dictionary of phrases they made up that mean English things. So hamo means uh, friend and uh, cutesy Q means cute and stuff like that, right? But you go through the game and it plays the opening theme song in like a bit thing, which is actually good for its time because most things don't play the actual songs from the friggin' show. Like American Dragon, you would think it would have the American Dragon theme song, right? But nope, no American Dragon. And this is a Game Boy Color game and it has it at least, you know? in bit form but still it it's uh you know it's legible <laughs> so going through the game it's nice um the opening segment is the best part honestly for me cuz it opens up and you see ham taro right but in the game you can go into these ham ham m like it's like ham it's like hm but it's ham ham boutiques it's like a shop basically i don't know how to say boutique it sounds too girly even though the game was probably invented for girls. <laughs> but there are guys who watch this. Don't quote me on that, but there are. <laughs> yeah, so um, you go in there, buy clothes and whatever, and you can dress them up. But it's not you can't even wear the stuff. Basically, you dress it up, and you take a picture, and you think, oh, that's it. And it sits on my dresser. But when you start up the game again, you get to see uh, basically what you dressed them up in. So I had them in, like, this uh, kimono with a chef hat and the Game Boy beside him, which was all right. It looked whatever. I, I don't even want to say that word because it's uncool to say the C word. <laughs> all right. Um, going through the game is very nice. It's the full name of the game is Ham Turtle Ham Hams uh, Unite. Basically, the main story quest to the game is you have to find his other hamos or friends. <laughs> Either way you want to say it. You find the other ham hamos, right? And basically, uh, there's different things like some of them will lose article. Like one of them, uh, Pajmina, which is the one that always wears the scarf. She loses her scarf and you have to get it. You have to get it from a crow. And then the crow, you talk to the crow and he's like, how do you say friend? You tell him that. And later on, he tells you stuff. Like he meets up with them on like some stuff. I'm almost done beating the game again, so it would probably be like my third time beating the game. But it's a nice game. You go, uh, you collect sunflower seeds, rocks, and stuff. You can play music. Uh, you can trade music if you had um, a friend that had a copy of the game. But the likelihood is you're not going to because it's an old game right now. Uh, as you can see, I'm talking so much about the Hamtaro. It is my favorite game that I'm playing right now. It's a game I can just put in, play, stop when I want to, and just go about what I'm doing. Read my program and book and whatever, you know? Or read my, like, comics, like the Spider-Men. Uh, I'm still on number five. I need to finish that. Yeah, but, um, the game is a very good game. Very good game. Uh, it's very cute, very friendly, uh, very out there, you know? It's like... Wow, and every time you do one of those uh, ham chats things, they do little actions to them. Like even yes and no, and um, even to describe their sizes, like small, big, uh, big is MacQ, right? Or MagQ, I don't know how to pronounce that exactly. But you can actually go up to like female characters and call them that, and they'll be like, they'll like blush and they'll be like, no I'm not, or they'll be like, how rude. <laughs> like, I even stepped on some guy, uh, some family's uh, 
blanket they had when they're having a picnic and they got all angry at me. Uh, and the cat, there's a dog too. There's a, there's a bunch of stuff to the game. Uh, moving along, what other games have I been playing? Uh, oh yeah, I pre-ordered my Wii U because I'm not in the States, so I don't have that problem of you can't pre-order it right now. We're all sold out. Screw yourself. <laughs> right, so I pre-ordered it. I only put the minimum. I was going to put it all, but I like to keep a little money in my bank because then I get extra in interest in that, but it's only another 300 so it's like whatever. I'm probably going to do it next month. Just get rid of it at the time so I don't have to worry. But at least I'll get the small interest for this month and somewhat of last next month. Even though it's a small amount of money. It's just with the other money, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, of course I'm going to get the deluxe set, right? <laughs> I think that was already said. But um, more on what I've been playing. I've been playing something else. I just can't remember it. It's something very niche. Something like, something small that, you know, it's like, you know, one of those games where it's like, you can easily forget it. Um, oh yeah, I've been playing, uh, what's it called? I played Hero of Ruin, the demo with my little brother. It was okay. It's actually a fun game. I really don't think, uh, game trailers give it that much justice, even though I've only played the demo, but it's I don't think what they said would very like justify the game. Like most games like that, all you do is smack people around, get loot, and then, you know, that's the whole thing to the game. Take the quest, get loot. The whole thing about it is not playing alone, it's playing with friends. Because if you play alone, the game will be shit to you. Basically, a couple of my friends have the game. It's just, I didn't really think I would want the game. I thought I wanted it, but I didn't really... You know, it's like if it was Project X Zone or something, I would have bought it straight away because that game looks sick as hell. But uh, something about the game just didn't make me go out and straight buy it for $30, you know. Even though I could probably get it for 19 now, but still. I, I still don't feel I need to own it. Unlike Kirby's Return to Dreamland that I bought. haven't played it because I'm waiting for Wii U. Um, oh yeah, and I played Xenoblade Chronicles still, I'm still in that game, I'm like, I don't know, probably 70, no, 60, it's probably like 68 hours in, great game, uh, the only problem is it's kind of long, and I kind of want to do everything, because I'm a completionist, and I will, like, hardly, like, I have Last Story waiting here for me to finish this game and go on to, and I know Last Story will probably take me another 60 it will probably finish by 68 but yeah that's everything I've been playing right now so let's move on to well news and stuff uh, they've been saying that the Wii U is sold out in the states right which I didn't know they were talking about the states I thought they were talking about everywhere so I kinda panicked I was like oh my god I probably won't get my Wii U what's going on here I go there and they're like oh yeah they we're taking pre-orders and I put my thing down there they said I don't know I think they said it was either 10 or 9 other people pre-ordered it and the one guy didn't really realize why it was so popular it's like who cares and it's like it's a new console what <laughs> it's like what do you not see like why people would want it and uh, I don't know they the AB games they always hate on um Nintendo gamers which is weird some of them are Nintendo gamers, which is funny. Or maybe they claim to be. They're secretly Xbox and PS3 lovers and Sega Dreamcast. <laughs> I still love the Sega brand systems. Um, yeah, so that's very messed. Um, I'm going to have another one of these. But at that time, I'm going to invite another person who plays games. So on the third one, I will try my hardest to get one of them here so I can record this. The only problem is it's going to have like probably both of us talking at the same time or I'm going to have to somehow, you know, put these together so that our voices don't mash together and totally just screw up your eardrums and be like, what the fuck is this? 
Turn it the fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Um, in the news, what else? Oh yeah, Bayonetta two. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Bayonetta is a sick ass game. It's like Devil May Cry and Devil May Cry. Oh my god, that game! I loved it. Uh, not the first one. Didn't really like the first one. So you can hate all you want, but the third one was the best one for me. That was insane. Like, I love that friggin', um, the fucking guitar I, uh, weapon that was freaking awesome. And then you get Cerberus, Cerberus's chains and everything. Holy shit. Like, I, it was crazy. But Bayonetta is, um, it's kind of a reverse story kind of thing. It's like she's killing angels compared to demons who are like godly characters, basically. I didn't play too much of the first Bayonetta. I played the demo through it to the end that's really it but the combo system and everything feeled you know like a devil may cry uh ish game not like uh, uh what would it be uh i have it right at the tip of my hand the stupid guy who's white because of his family's ashes on his skin um kratos i know his name and now i can't even figure out the game's name what's wrong with me yeah uh, whatever, screw that. But Bayonetta 2 is a Wii U exclusive, and a lot of people are freaking out about that, which I don't think they should freak out about it. It's either you have a Wii U or you don't, you know? And most gamers, you know, who have Xboxes and PS3s, they have a Wii. So it's like, if you usually have all three, why are you complaining? Like, you're going to get it anyways. You're going to get the Wii U, and you're going to get the next Xbox and the next PS3, so why complain? And plus, if you get the Wii U late in its life, you know, after you already got your Xbox Durango or Xbox um, 720 or whatever they want to call it, right? And you get the Wii late, you can always go and pick it up. Use that EB Games like you guys always do. So, either way, you're going to get it. So... Don't be a bitch about it. <laughs> like, I, I'm, I know it's kind of mean to say that, but honestly, I have the Wii, and I missed out on a lot of games because I refused uh, PS3 over my own story, like backstory. It's not that I hate PlayStation, you know, because I've been playing on PlayStation since PlayStation 1, right? And I have the PS2 there, PS2 games, uh, a couple of them. That's here. First one, Dual Masters. Second one is Ultimate. Ult, what? Unlimited Saga. <laughs> oh, that's that RPG game. <laughs> that actually looked okay for what it was. And the Naruto Unlimited. Well, I have a lot of PS2 games. And the PS1 games. I have more PS1 games than PS2. Most of them I traded in for the PS3. But, old story. Don't like to rehash it because that's the reason why I never got the PS3 because it really pissed me off after all of that. Um, yeah, so Bayonetta 2. Nice game. Can't wait to get it on Wii U. I don't know if I would download it or purchase it. I'll probably purchase it. Don't like the whole download thing, but I do like the download thing. You know, I like that they're going digital, and I like that they still have physical. So it's like a mixture of both. So either way, it's like some games you would totally download, like um, Brain Age. And some games you would totally want the copy of it. You know, because Brain Age, I don't give a F. You know, I'll play it, love it, but i rather have it download so I can just go into it anytime. Or even Animal Crossing, just go into it anytime, play it, and come out. You know, kind of like the Hamtaro game, I just play it, put it down, you know. But at least it'll be there and I won't have to keep swatch, swapping out my hardcore game that I'm playing like for so and so hours. I would have to swap it out to play, you know, Brain Age. I don't want to do that. You know, but with the download, I can just download it, play it, don't even care. Yeah, so they're also, they have the backwards compatible, that backwards compatibility for the Wii U, right? Which is good because... Who would not want to play Wii games still? <laughs> and a lot of people are like, fuck the Wii. Like, I don't want to go back to that shit. <laughs> but there's a lot of games I still need to beat. <laughs> Even, like, old games I still need to beat. But 
Uh, the backwards compatibility, a lot of people are complaining, saying that it might be like the Wii where it went into GameCube mode and you could not touch any of the Wii stuff. But with the Wii U, I think it'll be more like the 3DS, where playing the games, it'll go back to the state, you know, the only play Wii games state and only connect with Wii, blah, blah, blah. But I think on the Wii U side of it, it even if the games don't port down, like not port down, but transfer to the remote, the virtual consoles and WiiWare, I'm thinking that it will still be there. So when you play the 3DS, you go into a DSiWare, it loads it up like a DSiWare. You know, it doesn't load it up fully like it, like it doesn't have the little ding or the whatever sound effect it makes, but it still loads up the game. I think the Wii U will still do that, and later on they might give uh, the thing, but I don't think they're going to put too much work into it. Which is at least still good, because you still get all of the content there. You can still play it all. What I'm afraid of is if I have to start my games over, because I don't want to put up my Wii to just play Brawl again, or put up my Wii just to play Kirby Return to Dreamland with my file there. They said you can move your tri your save files, but I don't trust it cuz my save files, they say they cannot be moved to the SD card no more cuz as Nintendo has been trying to do since uh the homebrew channel, right? They've been trying to make you not able to move your uh save files to the SD card cuz of that whole thing or move them off of the SD card either. Some of their old games still do it, of course, but the new ones don't. But I'm thinking what it'll do, it will just... Maybe you hook the two systems up and you click transfer, which is good for me because I'm thinking that what they'll do is they'll have the remote, you know, as the screen for the Wii U, and the TV screen as the screen for your Wii. So basically what you'll do is you'll click transfer, you'll see the stuff on the screen, go into the remote, and then the Wii will be a piece of crap that you can store in your closet. Honestly, I'll probably just put it back in its box, you know, give it one of those goodnight kiss, like, goodbye. <laughs> I'm not going to give it a kiss. I'm going to just be like, you served me well. Probably give it like a fist bump. Yeah, my brother. <laughs> Some shit, you know. Um, yeah, but we use going to be great. Um, even if... You know, the graphics are just better than PS3. Like, even if they're mod mod <laughs> monetarily, you know, basically a little bit better than the PS3 graphics, is still good for me. Like, honestly, what? how much higher could they go? If they go even higher than that, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to have to... You know, like, with the PS4 and the other thing... Which I don't think Sony's going to come out with that very soon because they have the new Slim model. But that's a different thing, different discussion. I'll do that later. But uh, how high really do you think they'll go? Like they're not going to put it to a whole PC level because it doesn't make any sense. Because you get a PC and you know you can go up to that resolution and there would be a sense for that. But if you go and get the new, the new Xbox or the new PS3 and it goes up to that level, it's like... Why would you even buy that? Because you could buy the PC and use any of those remotes and still get the same experience, but better. You know? I'm not saying that you could pro you could probably do that with the Wii, too, but it's like, it's not exclusively... Uh, like, it, it'll be too much like a PC, you know? If it's too much like a PC, it's like, why not just buy the PC? Or why not use your PC you already have, you know? And if it costs the power of a PC, it's kind of like... And it's the same thing, same power, same everything. The only thing you'll lose is exclusives. And you probably won't lose those anyways because you could just hack them, you know. Get them off the internet, load them up on your computer and still play Uncharted and all of those. Or just buy it if it comes out for it, but it probably won't. But you'll get all the uh, all of the Xbox exclusives, of course. Well, most of them. Because I don't think all of them go to PC, but I think most of them do. Ugh. Yeah, so, I shouldn't yawn. That That's kind of bad. Um, we use looking great. I got my pre-order ready. Everything, going to pay it off next month. Uh, let's go into PlayStation news right now for the PS3. 
right? The PS3 got its slim, <laughs> this is funny, I, I like to call it the slim, slim model. So, like, a lot of people are calling it slim 2.0, but it's the PS3 slim, slim. Or, oh, no, 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 the PS3 anorexic, or <laughs> whatever. Uh, basically, what they do is you can push the top to the side and then put the disc in which I think is a lot better because uh, with the drawers that you know push out and you put the disc in those because always break or the ones where you push it in and it sucks it in those still can always break but that is not really gonna break unless some asshole like tries to rip the top off oh my god I wanna see the smash doctor smash up <laughs> the new slim PS3 that'd be so fucking awesome but yeah, so Sony is not really doing anything with their new console. I don't think they're going to announce a new console because they said a 10-year plan, right? So I think there's a little bit more time for that. So the rumors about it is kind of like how the Wii's had, the, sorry, the Wii's, the Wii HD rumor came out, you know? And everybody's like, oh my god, it's coming out soon. And then it's like the next year, oh my god, it's coming out soon. And then the next year oh, it, now it's actually going to come out soon. And then now it's this year, and it's like, okay, it's it's finally coming out, but it's like, yeah, all this time, you know, like four years. I'm thinking maybe since the rumors are starting now, it might be probably two at the least, three at the most that it would take for it to come out. That's saying the, PS, the new PS3 and new Xbox. The new Xbox might come out before, it you know but sony usually likes to go last so they can see all of their competition open up their systems see what they're dealing with and go you know what? we can just ram a whole bunch of shit into this because you know they're all about putting the highest quality shit in there even though it will break down most of the time but you know they like to put a lot of high gear into it yeah i know that with like buying their mp3 players and their CD players back in the day, even their cassette players had like so many bells and whistles. It's like wow, for a cassette player, it's like messed. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, on manufacturing things like the Wii U with its man manufacturing, they. Uh, sorry, I mess up words sometimes, but basically Nintendo, they always have it durable. That's what I really love about their stuff is I could drop my 3DS maybe a thousand times and would still be okay. The PS Vita, I really don't think I could drop it that much. With that new <laughs> OLED screen, <laughs> which looks nice. Uh, I haven't got it because it's like, most of the games are just ports of the PS3. You know, it's like, if I wanted a PS3, I'd buy the PS3. And it would be cheaper. So it's like, why the fuck buy the Vita? Which is very offensive to Vita fans, but eh. What are you going to do? All you can do is press the dislike button there. Or you can give me a thumbs up for being truthful. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's really all the news. Uh, I'm going to try and edit this a bit, you know. Try and make it sound okay. Make sure it doesn't have that gay-ass echo. I'm sorry for messing with your guys' ears. You know. But... Yeah, it's nice, you know. I think that, uh, you know, ah, crap, I'm getting lost in other people's conversations outside of my freaking headquarters, my room, my, my bat cave. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, thanks for listening to this discussion. I know it ended very soon, and or maybe it took too long, but... Thank you for listening. This is the LLTH discussion, not a podcast no more. And I hope all the editing goes through, and I hope they do not cut the last minute, because that is just a pain in the ass. You know, I say bye, and it's like, oh, it just cut off when he said the other thing. But thanks for listening. Uh, subscribe. My YouTube page is there. Um, my uh, Facebook page should be there. Basically what I do there is I go through all of the websites and get all the key news, put it in there, you know, so basically you don't have to even search. You just go to that webpage, it'll have all of the Kotaku, all of the Go Nintendo, all of the Rainfall stuff, all the blah blah blah. 
that is important because some of it you really don't have to hear six, seven times in different opinions because it's like your opinion is just a pain in the ass, you know? Like some of them you get a good opinion and it's like, you know, I'll stick with that good opinion. That's basically what goes on. Yeah, but uh, later to you guys. Thanks for listening. I'm going to try and turn this shit off.